What's up everyone? This is my channel, Hot Action Fishing and Fab. Uh, my name is Curtis and uh, today I'm going to be cutting the bulkheads out of my little Johnson skiff I have here. My project skiff that I've been working on. I've got a series going on my going on, on this channel. Um, before I get started on cutting this thing all out and getting all nasty and dirty, I'm um, going to talk a little bit about the tools that I'm going to use. Um, well, first things first, uh, I used to wear just a standard normal mouth respirator and uh, things sucked. Um, it did what it needed to do, obviously, it protected me, but uh, it didn't protect my eyes as good as I would like it. Um, it just it sits on my nose funny and it causes me to not be able to wear my safety glasses properly up tight to my face so I would get fiberglass behind my safety glasses and it's it's not it's it's uncomfortable so uh, I was watching a, another YouTube channel and I seen a gentleman wearing a full face respirator like this one and I was like I gotta get me one so I got on Amazon and I found this one for like 35 bucks with the cartridges and uh, they're from China I can't read a single word on them but uh, this claim that it's supposed to do what it needs to do with the fiberglass dust and everything and uh, I'm gonna replace them soon I got some 3m ones in there and I can read the writing on those and I know that those are gonna do with what they're supposed to do uh, but yeah I highly recommend a full face style respirator um, this thing's awesome protects you very very well and uh, definitely when I'm gonna go it kind of sucks when you sweat it's it's not very pleasant but uh, it's kind of disgusting but just keep it clean and and uh, you'll enjoy it but to start off first things first this here is my favorite tool it's just an angle grinder a four inch angle grinder with a diamond cutoff wheel and uh, pretty sure it's for like cutting tile and stuff but it does wonders with cutting fiberglass and that's my favorite that tool to use if I can use anything to cut the glass to, to de deconstruct a boat this is this is it this is the fastest and quickest and easiest thing to use in my opinion but there comes a point in time where you got to use this multi-tool which kind of sucks because it's super slow it does not cut nearly as fast as I would like it to because I'm kind of impatient but it does what it needs to do it gets into tight areas and and uh, cuts everything I needed to cut it's very good for precision cutting. After I get done cutting with my angle grinder, I come in with my sander. And this is what I use to sand it down and bring it to a nice, consistent, even plane to lay my glass up in and scratch the surface so I get good bondage with the fiberglass. Uh, yeah, I use a 30, I try to use, like for de de uh, taking the boat apart, um, 36 grit pads are where it's at. They're kind of hard to find, like Home Depot and Lowe's don't carry them. They only carry down to 60 grit, at least in my area. But uh, I happen to find these um, at my local fiberglass shop. They're 36 grit and they are, they're so nice. They do such a better job than using the 60 grit. I wish I would have found them a long time ago. Bring me my next tool. This thing is awesome. Um, I'm a welder. I do a lot of fabricating and uh, have to do a little bit of grinding every once in a while. But uh, usually I don't have to because my welds are pretty sweet, but sometimes the prints call out for it. Uh, so I got one of these at my old shop where I used to work at, a Dynafile, but I used a pneumatic one, an air-powered one. Um, I was playing around at uh, Harbor Freight one day and I seen this and I was like, I gotta have this because I know how, how nice the Dynafile is that I used to use at my old job. and. Uh, well, this thing's a hot ticket. This thing is so wonderful to use. It gets right down into areas, and it's only a half inch. Well, it's only a half inch blade, so I can get right into tight areas. And the radius is actually almost perfect for uh, laying up glass. So if you come into a corner and you got like a kind of weird spot in your fillet, you can use this <clears throat> this Dynafile to get in that area and actually shape your fillet the way you want it. But those are my tools that I'm going to be using to deconstruct this boat. Obviously, I'm going to start off, I'm going to put my gloves on, plug this thing in, put my respirator on, and uh, go from there. Thank you.
I got that cut out. Just using my four inch angle grinder. There's some water in there. If you see it, there's some nasty water. Doesn't smell very good. That's probably, probably shouldn't have put my finger in it. That's probably gonna die from something now. Uh, I'm gonna use my shop vac to suck that little bit of water out. And then I'm gonna jump into using this little four and a half inch 60 grit, uh, just a flappy disc and go from there. Um, yeah, stay tuned. that's that for now with the skiff uh, just grinded out that bulkhead had some nasty water in the bottom of it all the wood was rotted so it's gone now the skiff's gonna be 100% composite all the venicel and kusa board um, like I said I got it cut out got it grind down for the most part it's pretty much where it needs to be uh, when I go to lay up some glass I'll definitely have to do a little bit more sanding on all that gel coat and get all that nasty stuff off because you can't lay glass over gel coat like doing like a structural situation you definitely want to get down past the gel coat into raw glass uh but for now i'm happy with where it's at um i'm actually going to be replacing i have uh two little six gallon red gas tanks that you use in the most time in these little skiffs um they're convenient because you can take them out of the boat and stuff but uh, they also suck at the same time because you gotta worry about strapping them down and them sliding around in the back of the boat and having to actually pull them out from underneath the deck and fill them up so I am going to fab up my own gas tank well uh, do it all out of aluminum obviously um, it'll be nice because you just fill the gas tank up you know pop the cap off the top deck and fill it right up so that's one thing oh yeah during the video I uh, switched from that floppy 60 grit disc to a 36 and 36 36 grit uh, just like regular sanding disc and uh, I'm impatient and that 60 grit wasn't doing it for me so I switched to 36 grit took a lot more material really fast have to be a lot more careful but uh, it does what it needs to do also a little tip with the angle grinder using that diamond cutoff wheel I don't cut all the way through on the first pass. Usually, because the reason why I do that is I usually score it and then kind of like mentally make a note that, okay, this is where in fact I want to cut. And then I'll cut a little bit deeper, cut a little bit deeper, then I'll cut all the way through. Just so I make sure I do not cut into something that could possibly be important. Um, but other than that, this is where she's at. I wanted to make this a really quick video. Um, next thing to do, I haven't really decided, I might put a bulkhead in and then put a, my stringers and stuff in the floor and have a full bulkhead up front. Also I thought about just doing a full floor like originally in the plans, um, but I'm obviously changing it a little bit still with the, going to those, those uh, storage boxes like that instead of the rear deck, the full rear deck. So I don't know, I uh, might put a bulkhead in here, right there and then do a little bit smaller floor um but yeah here we are subscribe to my channel hot action fishing and fab uh thank you all very much y'all have a wonderful one